Did you know that the prevalence of MRSA in prison facilities continues to rise till this day? In 2005, the incidence of MRSA infection among male inmates at the LA County Jail was 13.8 cases per 1,000 admissions. Because of the stressful living conditions, jail facilities are faced with unique challenges related to the control of MRSA. Identifying risk factors will help in understanding what is contributing to the spread and the potential effect of intervention. A case control study was conducted to identify behavioral risk factors for staff infection in prison facilities. 60 case patients and 100 controls were used. There are no significant differences between cases and controls regarding demographic characteristics, comorbidities, and healthcare exposure. The subjects were asked to answer a survey of MRSA risk factors largely taken from the LA County Department of Health. Consoles were then used to retrieve interior snow samples for MRSA culture in patients with skin infections and control subjects. 35% of case patients and 11% of controls were found to have MRSA colonization. Factors included lack of college education, no ex previous awareness of staff, not showering daily in jail, showering of soap, and lack of contact with a healthcare worker. Increased hygiene awareness will be beneficial in treating MRSA, and educational programs for inmates will be ideal. In addition, jail facilities can play their part by making it easier for inmates to access clean showers and increasing distribution of clean clothes. Due to the high colonization of MRSA, MRSA screening should also be considered. Further research should be done to test the effectiveness of hygiene intervention and programs in this unique population.